Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the Mother's House Podcast, and I am Deshaun. What's up, what's up? This is Corey. Peace to the family, peace and light to you all. What's up, cuz What's yep. up with you? Uh, chilling, just doing the nightly, you know, doing the night shift in this bitch. Mm-hmm. What's up with you? Um, nothing, man. I'm reading this dope book. I may do a book review on my personal page. Yo, you should. Um, yeah, Children of the Blood and Bone. Mm-hmm. And... I haven't been able to sit this thing down, man. Not looking at no movies. Have a day off. And usually when I have a day off, I'm either listening to podcasts, looking up stuff, but since I opened this book, man, I've just been reading this book. Yeah, that's pretty that wrong with a good book. Shout out to a good book. The good yeah, reads. Shout out to Tommy Adeyemi. It's really dope. Good read. I think everybody should get it. Especially right. for youngest, you know. That's what's up. Um... So, uh, Obama is in the news today. Right, you know. right. What he, what he up to? Former uh, Trump, Trump, Donald Trump is uh, hollering at him, yelling at him or something. Former President Barack Obama and uh, and his wife Michelle Obama they're in they're in the advanced negotiations with Netflix and possibly signing a Netflix deal. Well, I hope they get more than five hundred thousand. Mm. They they probably gonna get a whole lot. Yeah. But um, so so, what this Netflix deal is supposed to be about? Do anybody know what kind of project they're trying well, to get no, themselves to? There's not, there's not a lot of details about what exactly is going to be. Right. But um, Obama, they they're saying that it's probably going to be like nonpartisan. It's not going to really talk shit about you know everybody. It's going to be you know Obama ish. Happy and nice, okay. and you know, everybody gonna Beyond like the world, it. We can change, right? You know, Very yeah. cool by y'all. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, um, but yeah, Obama and Michelle about to be on Netflix. How you feel about that? I saw it coming, not necessarily Netflix, but I saw them doing something far in the entertainment space. Um, after his presidency, Obama. You got to think, Obama is like the most popular president mm-hmm. <laughs> today. You know what I'm saying? He's the the president that everybody like to see. They love seeing a Michelle Obama. They love seeing Barack Obama. So it's not too surprising. It's not a shocking. I was like, you know, okay, I saw this kind of coming. You know, right? But it's also tell you our art. Like, <clears throat> I think we're we're in an age of Celebrity, you know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. age of celebrity is is is, is, is the ruler factor, the ruling symbol of of America. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, that even stems all the way back to uh, what's that guy name? That was an actor that was the president. Um, Reagan. Reagan. You know what I'm saying? I think somebody before him, even John F. Kennedy, was considered a celebrity. You know, so right. it's not surprising. Um. And um, I ain't mad at him getting his money. What you do? Are you gonna check for it? I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm not. You know, it's one of those. I don't have Netflix, but you know, if it's on, I'm not like protesting and walking out the room. I got you. Right. How do you feel about this? Uh, him making that move for making that deal. Um, do you think it's gonna help? Is it for help? Or is it for like that's the whole thing? I'm like so. <laughs> it's gonna be comedies and uh, ratchet shows. Talk about the real house, the real housewives of Obama family. Loving hip hop politics. <laughs> but um, I don't make this sound like I done told you. I put the damn trash out last night. Right, but um, I mean, like I kind of feel like you. Like it, it's not surprising. Right. Um, I've always felt like Obama was more a celebrity than he was a president. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah, it was just It was just such a celebrity Yep Like I mean, to the point where it was just like Everything he does You know Everything, everything. And like To that the point where you Trump, same thing. I, mean, I, I mean it's like that with any president But I felt like Obama's was a little extra It was extra. It was a little more than normal yeah, yeah. And you gotta think He was the first black president Mm-hmm. Some people would argue that you know he's the first black president, right? So <clears throat> it, 
you know, who wouldn't want to gravitate or, or use that story? If I was Netflix, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But does it make you think that this was something that was in the works a long time ago? Man, he probably had this damn thing signed up before he came when he became a damn senator. <laughs> right, like and he probably already had his vision down the line, you know. Right, that's Tell what I. Obama usually wish he was a rapper. Right, that's what I was kind of <laughs> thinking. That's the only thing I was thinking. Like, what you gonna pull? to get Netflix to where they at so they can come back and do something for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. early nego- negotiations for, like, really big things, like, this happened, like, years in advance. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure this was in the talks right before he got out of office. Right. You know, so, it probably was in talks when Netflix became, you know, a thing. You know what I mean? Right. Um, the Obama just another, another end goal for, you know, media. Right. Yeah. And um, you know, we all know how media plays on the people. You and know you never know, it could be good. Oh yeah, 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 no, nah, no, nah, I ain't knocking it. I ain't knocking it whether it's good or not, you know. I just not gonna be like, Oh my gosh, Obama and Michelle. Like and, and don't get me wrong, I love seeing them the family. You know what I'm saying? It's a good look, but politics and everything, I don't think you're gonna learn anything new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You ain't gonna learn nothing new. Now if he come out and do some like thirteenth stuff Cool. Yo, I, what if he come out super conscious? <laughs> hey man, he could. He could. He was, he, he, you know, for a minute he was riding that way before he became president. So Obama is not about to come out super conscious. No, y'all can't hang that up. He gonna have a chance to wrap it all up in it though. I can see that. I can see he doing something with Chance. Chance is gonna do the um the um intro. He the, intro. the intro for it. He gonna have a little Obama Tonight show. You. You know, it's cool. I mean, it's like it's it's what happens when they leave office. They have a bunch of book deals and this deal and that deal yeah. and that deal. So exactly, yeah, like boys did a book deal. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they all have deals. So all do something. You know what I'm saying? So Obama said, "Bump that out." You know, people like seeing me. People like seeing Michelle. Well, why not? You know, do something on television. Mm. Love hearing about my children. Let's, let's, let's give them the real. Someone said that the presidents shouldn't be able to do deals for like a five year cap or something like that after their um, presidency. Who says that? Um, I heard it somewhere because they said the reason they shouldn't be able to do it is because you don't know what they're going to do while they're in office to influence what they're going to do while they're out of office. So, to protect, I guess, the integrity. integrity. Yeah, the, in- the integrity of the office. Right, exactly. So, yeah. I mean, he's not in office. He ain't never going back in office. He did eight years. But, exactly. Um, but when I, what I'm saying is, you don't know if he could have done something. Almost like a you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Right, okay, gotcha. Like, you know, I, I'm going to hook y'all up and I'm going to do this tax break, this, that, and the other. Now, now he's been out of office about two years now, ain't he? Right, yeah, but still, like like I said, like, deals like this are like, I'm sure they didn't, like, just start talking yesterday, especially since they didn't advance. Somebody probably put a bug in there. Hey, man, you should do TV. I'm sure. He, he already he probably knew he should do TV before he even got to this deal. You know what right. I'm saying? He probably just, probably just started talking to Netflix probably two years ago, right after he got out of office. I mean, I'm I'm sure because they be planning their, you know, post presidency. They know. do five year plans, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, what, what, they're what, planning what, 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 it. Five years or ten years, right. or twenty years. And you know, you know, Obama kind of liked the spotlight. He kind of get a kick out of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He'd be like smiling, be like, "Yeah, what up? Hey." So yeah, this is kind of right up his alley, you know. You know. No, I ain't, I ain't going. It's like I'm not surprised either. But. Yeah, I'm just not surprised, and I'm not really alarmed either. I'm gonna be like, you know, so what are they trying to do to us? They, see, this is some um, conspiracy talks. Ted, Ted, Ted Nugent here. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think I think stuff like that'll come once he starts whatever he's going to do. I mean, they're gonna do that regardless because he's black, right? He's president, it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? People want to talk. 
But then it's almost like, is it Obama trying to still be in the spotlight a little bit? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's still in the spotlight. If they got a picture of him, if he, he had a, uh, recently, not recent, not that recent, but him and Michelle went somewhere or did something, the, the internet went buzzing. I mean, like, they're gonna, they're gonna be... It's like a damn Amber Alert whenever he do something. Like. Right, like, they're gonna be celebrities forever, you know, because right. that's, that's what... Well, most celebrities are celebrities forever, but presidents are like another level of celebrity. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I'm interested uh, to see how this plays out. He ain't talking about Central Park Five. He ain't talking about mass incarceration. He might. You, you never know. He might. You never know. Well, from from what I hear, he's talking about global warming, which is a serious topic, and it's a broad topic, and it talks to everybody, it affects everyone. So he'll touch on stuff that deal with that. He he's gonna. Touch on, race he's gonna do like he did while he was in office it's gonna be very we are the world (laughs) because he's focused on world issues right necessarily issues that pertain to african americans americans or if he do touch on stuff that deal with america he'll talk about the gun issues you know the gun laws which right transgender rights you know gay rights and stuff he gonna touch on those things but he ain't gonna speak to a particular race or particular group um, outside of those groups I just named. Right. Obama TV. I'm I'm interested, like I am. Yeah. I really am. To see how this plays. I don't know if I'm inter- I'm not that interested, but I'll I, watch it. I'm interested because I know it's gonna make a lot of noise. Whether it whether it be good or bad, whether well, it be pro black or pro white or pro whatever it's gonna be, I know it's gonna be It ain't gonna be pro right. It ain't gonna be pro black. It's gonna be Obama. <laughs> You know, the whole, you know, the whole narrative that they try to put Dr. King in, you know, the, um, Dr. King, we are the world, we all come in peace, you know what I'm saying? Everybody Everybody hold hands, kumbaya. Everybody hold hands, yeah. yeah. You know, it's going to be very, a wrinkle in time type of movie. I've never seen that movie. Me neither. I haven't seen it. But, um, man, we'll see, man. We'll see what Obama's going to do with it, you know, um. I ain't mad at him making that deal to shoot. I ain't mad either because, I mean, when you yeah. leave the office, the deals come. Yeah, exactly. Not only just the bills come, you know, even though he still get paid, you know, a certain amount of money. No, the, I said the deals person, come. You know, the deals. He still think he, I think his appeal, I think the thing is, he, he's a cultural impact. He had a cultural impact when he came in office. So he, he, can't, he, he can't let that legacy die just off of that because, you know, Trump, and the Republican Party is destroying everything he ever done, so he got to kind of, you know, like, y'all ain't about to kill my legacy. I'm about to go on television and tell people what the fuck I really, really did. That's probably what his angle is, you know? Hmm. We shall I ain't mad see. at that either. We shall you know? see. I still feel like he ain't did enough, but, you know, that's just my, I mean, my two cents on that. That's how we all feel, but, you know. Mm-hmm. We shall see. We shall see. Well, a lot of people feel like a lot of people are excited about it. You know, like, I mean, like be happy to see it. I mean, I'm excited about it. Yeah. Like Obama, if you don't go sit down, tired of you <laughs> out here living your best life and shit, showing out, showing, shining us. Right. I just don't want the the perception of saying, but this would have the same perception that happened with um. Same thing with Black Panther. Like when Black Panther came out, a lot of people were like we we we, we made it. Even though the, the actors and the director, right, they're like, nah, we didn't make it. Even though we making we sell a billion dollars across the globe, it's just a step forward. You know, I don't want that whole we made it. We ain't gotta do much. Let them handle it. Type of energy come when it comes to us telling our stories, us telling our truths, us telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean. It, I don't want that to happen. The, um, the stagnate the, the movements that's you know brewing around and I'll sometimes, say sometimes I, sometimes I feel when a celebrity or somebody big like an Obama get attached to a a, a movement it's it stagnates it okay but what movement movement do you think he's attaching himself to I don't think he will attach himself to but what I think it is my thing I don't want it to be a bunch of propaganda yeah that's basically what I'm saying to be a bunch of shit that's just not gonna help and do more hurt than help. And well, I don't think it's gonna do more hurt. But my thing hard. is, and I think with Obama, period, it's he's very 
and I don't even know if he's like this on purpose. He may be or may not be. I feel like he's very tricky. He gives a false sense of hope. Yeah. And I feel like he still gives that. Probably even more now. And I, I feel you like people... Now? You think he still gives a false sense of hope now? That he's not in office? <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You miss Obama in office. I mean, to be completely honest... Mm-hmm. Black people struggle. <laughs> like, the struggle has been real from, you know... From, generation before our generation, right. before our mother, the grandmother generation. Right. So, so I just lost something on Viceland where, you know, slavery was still going on in Mississippi or in a lot of, you know, southern rural towns. Like, yeah, you can even go to about us and you probably run into somebody who say, yo, we thought slavery was still going on during the um, 50s and 40s. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, <clears> yeah. <throat> so, yeah. So, so, yeah. I'm going to just say, you know, the struggle has always been evident. But um, and persistent. Yeah, shit. Well, and our present. resilience, our resilience, <laughs> yeah, is very persistent as well. So right, exactly. Got to make no shit of that. But um, I just as far as him giving a false sense of hope, I just feel like people look at him and see God. No, I don't think people see that. Hey, I, 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 uh, I think people look at him and see Beyonce and Jay Z. They think they're God too. <laughs> <laughs> Like a, a god, like a celebrity, your favorite celebrity, God. <laughs> it's very golden idol worshiping. Yeah, God, Jesus, God. But um, I ain't gonna sit here and diss Obama. <laughs> but, you I know, mean, I think, like I said, if anybody look at him in that sense, now if it's a kid and look at him and get inspiration and get inspired and be like, hey, I want to be a president one day, you know, cool. That's 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 what they, that's what his that's what symbols do. You know what I'm saying? Inspire young children. Man. If you were grown as a dope and you treat <laughs> celebrities as gods, you. you I mean, ugh, I mean have, have, have you, know you mean? seen Instagram lately? <laughs> like, man, I have. I, I have. mean, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. But you know, I have. it's all good. They're such a beautiful yo, family, though. Say that again. So they're such a beautiful family. They are. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I want my family to kind of reflect that. Mm-hmm. You know, when I have my wife and my kids, I, I want to kind of somewhat reflect that. You know, but, you know, I, I don't, this is my thing. I don't try to attach, you shouldn't try to attach yourself so closely. This is the problem with, I have an issue when it comes when we, that we're so celebrity driven mm-hmm. as a culture, as a people, as a society. You know what I'm saying? Like celebrities shifts culture to a certain extent, Damn. and I don't think I think it's supposed to be the people shift the culture, and the celebrities just reflect that, right? Yeah. And that what's supposed to be? Um, <laughs> celebrities are just not supposed. They're supposed to be in a certain place, and they have taken over everything. They're politics, suppo- yeah, from politics to. You know, public opinion to like just everything, you know, and it's like, and then this is the thing: it's the people fought for them. It's yeah, yeah, and no, yeah, and no. It's done on purpose, first of all. Yeah, yeah, it is. So it's not all the people's fault. It's it's the powers that be using celebrity against the people, weaponizing celebrity to get their agendas across. That's what it is, and I feel like the average celebrity doesn't really know enough to be in those spots and nothing against the average celebrity because they really shouldn't like you've been singing all your life you've been rapping all you've been acting like that's what you do so you should know some stuff but i don't expect you to be a politician that's just not your thing but yeah they have a lot of power and you know what they say has a lot of weight in it so they end up being those people, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But, um, hmm, Obama's gonna be the next Black Panther. Hmm. Obama, Obama about to replace Oprah. Oprah. Ooh, 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 ooh. He gonna get his own he, Obama network. Oprah is going to, after the flop of this movie, and she unsold that network. Y'all, oh, something going on with Oprah. I don't, maybe she about to partner with Obama. I don't know what Oprah got up her sleeve, but she taking some tumbles. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, 
just it's just an interesting time. I just sit back and observe, you know. That's it. That's all you can really do. Is just sit back and observe, see what's going on. I just sit Make back and talk shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? But um how this you know, with Netflix making this deal, it's Netflix, right? Mm-hmm. With Netflix making this deal, are you think they trying to scapegoat from or, or clean up from the um what her name? Uh, Monique. Monique. Monique situation by giving more black people, prominent black people. No, on their networks. no, I think this is something that was in the works for a long time. Yeah, I think so too. And, 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 and um, because you look at Tiffany Haddish, she got Netflix still. Mm-hmm. Uh, D. Ray Mickinson got D. Ray, D. Ray Mickinson. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I saw a picture of him on uh, <laughs> he was at the day of the Oscars and he had the damn blue vest on with a tuxedo. I'm like, why he wear this tuxedo? Because he's trying to be a symbol. Oh, That's gosh. why. But I don't know. Man. I don't know D Ray, so I ain't gonna even say nothing. But well, I mean D Ray, the, the comedian D Ray, he got five million deals. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, I don't know, man. I, I you know, I mean, I don't look too that deep into it. What I do I know is they gonna they gonna pay them Obamas. <laughs> That's oh yeah, they better pay them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're gonna have to pay them. That's gonna be a gonna check. No, no, they're gonna pay them more than they paid up. What is that? They're oh, probably oh, Dave Chappelle. They're probably gonna pay him like a hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They know that's gonna generate people viewership. That's gonna that's, people gonna t- tune in just to see what the hell Obama doing. Mm-hmm. You know, but I tell you what, one thing I am looking forward to seeing is. Yeah. Uh, they were doing what they talked about she doing this she want to do she are she is doing the Central Park 5 movie. oh that's dope I can't wait till yeah. that gets done yeah I wouldn't mind seeing that mm-hmm. uh-huh. and she said she had her dream project is the Sasha Court story oh that's what's uh, up yeah so I hope to see that um and it's it, 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 you know the Obama thing Netflix deals you know I don't want black people to get too comfortable thinking we made it in Hollywood or we made it in entertainment. We actually got an ability to tell our own stories. Because, like, <clears throat> even um, even when they said it, like, the people who are making moves in Hollywood that are black, there's very few of them. It's, not, it's nowhere near as many whites. You dig know what I'm saying? That's why you don't see as much black films getting pushed like that. Could Obama break down the door for black media? I think black media has already done that through our YouTube channels and and, and uh, podcasting and. Well, could Obama take black media to a new level? He doing a he doing a Will Smith. <laughs> you know how Will Smith got all started getting on Twitter and you know on Instagram and how he like the buzzing thing on all on on social media. Mm-hmm. Um, he he pulling that move when it comes to black media. I think he'll do that, but I don't think he's gonna make it like. Everybody gonna try to do the same thing Obama doing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't see that. But I mean, we can't do the same see. thing he do. But yeah, all in all, I'm just interested and I can't wait to see how it turns out. So I'll yeah. just say that. Yeah, at the end of the day, but let us know how y'all feel about it. Do y'all feel some type of way about it? Do y'all think there's some propaganda, some scams uh, to the people or to the culture? You know what I'm saying? Or it's gonna be great for the culture, great for the people, great for the symbols of seeing young, seeing the, our, our first black president on television, on screen, on Netflix, you know, on our phones. And have to get uh, even closer to to the white, to to the first family, the 44th president. So let us know in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that bell. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. You know, share. Don't be stingy with it, share it to your mama and your cousin too. Mm-hmm. But until next time, y'all, we'll catch y'all Peace later. Out. Peace. I will not raise my daughter differently than my mother raised me. The rearing I got from my mother, words cannot express. I could live in any time, I could live in any country, I could live on any planet, and I would be fine. What was the key? The key. What did your mother know? <laughs> What truth was coming through your mother that's going to come through you to your daughter? My mother gave us aphorisms to learn as children. And the one that I, there are two 
that stand out foremost in my mind. One is the inner reality creates the outer form. I learned this when I was in grade school. I was very young. And the other is the universe bears no ill to me. I bear no ill to 